Hi and welcome in the newest tutorial. Today we're gonna create this beauty together. The goal was to create as uh, natural look as possible to a uh, pink amethyst geode slice without any glitters, without any gold. So my goal was to create as natural look as possible here. And uh, this painting needed to be still top coated. That's why the uh, per the coat the resin coat is not perfect but i had to take advantage of the sunny day to show you how beautiful it is and warning for all of you guys who are ready to create it with me i'm gonna show you step by step what i did but exactly the materials that i use exactly the colors that i picked for this painting to achieve the natural look uh, as well as what i used to move them uh, I'm gonna share in the class that I prepare for you. There is full class for this geode painting that I'm offering of my website. Uh, it's not for free, but I made the price as affordable as possible. So if you're interested to learn which panels I'm using for the alcohol inks, um, which inks exactly, what am I using to, to move them, all of the step-by-step -step advanced techniques, on uh, blending the alcohol inks to actually achieve natural look how to move them how to uh, put them next to each other and in which sequence as well as pro tips on top coating with resin if it's also something that it's new to you um, i'm gonna everything list and explain with a normal speed uh, all of everything that i did in the class so check the description underneath the video to have link to the direct mini classes as well as other mini classes that i'm offering with alcohol inks and resin uh, so i'm excited to teach you everything for this more advanced technique and this is uh, the final look before we put the resin on right so i use a couple of techniques to blend the inks together for natural look and before we move forward to actually apply the juicy, after the painting is ready with alcohol inks, I'm using resin to seal the surface. Um, and I'm just mixing a batch of resin here. And my pro tip from all of the tips that I share on the video is that it's very, very crucial for you guys to remember that using resin during summer and using resin during winter is a completely different story, especially if you are in a country where the temperatures drop significantly or in the area. Because when it's getting super cold outside and you don't have high temperatures at home and you don't man maintain high temperature and stable temperature all day long and all night long in the room when you're creating it's very important to heat up the resin and you heat up the resin uh, by putting the containers before or after mixing into the water hot water for approximately 10 to 15 minutes if you have like full blow like very big jars with a lot of gallons in it or liters you need to put them in for a little bit longer uh, just make sure that the water is not gonna get into the resin don't mix the resin too fast but make sure that everything is properly connected both ingredients part A and part B is connected very well because that's the difference between top coating with resin and creating some designs with resin on the top coat on the transparent coat um, any kind of issues not mix correct resin micro bubbles um, everything will be visible very quickly uh, so this is very crucial I'm sharing a lot of tips on the video and I'm also having um, course mini mini course for everyone who is new to resin so I'm gonna also put the link in the description it's very affordable and you can learn everything like how to start working with resin how to prepare the room how to prepare the surface what is important to not miss it because to be honest with you guys resin is not very cheap medium and it's very crucial to make it right 
and not learn the hard way uh, because it's it's a lot it costs a lot of money from all of the mediums inks or acrylic paint it costs a lot of money to work with so shortcut for you guys i'm having a lot of classes and uh, lessons just to teach you how to do it properly from start and yeah help you avoid uh, help you with the shortcut and avoid a lot of headaches and uh, time and money just save time and money but also in this channel here on the youtube you can find a lot of videos with different projects that i did and you can learn really a lot from them so uh, i'm just spreading the resin right now with the stick always remember to switch the stick i'm having a video about top coating uh, my five best tips on top coating always remember guys to switch the stick um, because the one that you used for mixing resin for 60% of chance or even more is that it's having particles of resin that is not properly mixed and last but not least it's to blow the bubbles right every resin when you mix it it's creating bubbles and we don't want that if it's gonna cure uh, with the bubbles you will have the bubbles frozen in the resin and it will be visible on your painting so using either both or only one heat gun on slow level uh, of blowing or the torch is something that you need to do for sure i'm mostly doing it twice with heat gun and with the torch um, if i have big enough painting and it also depends on the resin and here I put some structure underneath and I'm having a new batch of resin mixed it's the next day the previous coat is already cured and I'm creating I'm working first with the um, design of the truzy that was in the center white truzy is actually transparent but because it was having white background it looks like white so I'm, I created a texture underneath to have a little bit of lift in a couple of places and then I'm just applying a small amount of resin on top before I move to the second um, phase and spoiler alert here I actually tried different techniques with Truzy that I didn't really like I wanted to try something else so that's why I actually messed up my surface because I needed to clean everything up, I needed to scrape it and then um, it affected the, the surface of resin. That's why I needed to top coat it. But if you are very gentle, you can sometimes skip on top coating it again. If you are very accurate and gentle, after applying the truzy and after the truzy is cured, you don't have to top coat it. It's if the area around the druzy is nice and clean so always use baby wipes to clean the area that shouldn't be affected with resin and you can use just very soft toilet paper to polish after wiping it out with baby wipes and we are gonna look into creation the process of creation of druzy we are having diamond keys here and sprinkling diamond keys on the wet resin to apply um, the druzy uh, and to create this white druzy look. It's more like transparent and it's pretty flat. It's because I wanted to create different version of look where part of the druzy is a little bit higher and build up and part of the resin is created with just flat sparkly surface it's like i was going for a look like you when you have spheres or when you have towels there is difference in the level of high, of the depth of some parts of the trusy so th that was the goal here creating a look that is similar to natural stone spheres uh, slices towers Sometimes you need to go, I'm showing here that you can add some highlights in between, just put it in there and allowing resin to just cure. I'm using here products from my Druzy Cades line and I'm using here blush pink color 
I'm showing here that you can add you can just drop into the resin some highlights my goal here was to create a nice united uh, and simple effect right and now I'm showing you the idols black this is the color from Cusicada's line that I used I'm mixing it always with resin here you can see it. it's very really pretty a matte finish beautiful color but it's more like matte it comes into completely it transitions to more clear and high gloss look when you mix it with resin and exactly for the formula that I'm using to mix resin with Trudy, I'm having uh, those proportions and all of the guidelines as well as the VIP dining for the working with Trudy for everyone who purchased Trudy for at least 60 euro at this moment. And so for everyone who orders uh, for this amount of higher, I'm adding a free bonus of training where you get a lot of training videos with tips of how to mix it properly, how to create beautiful highlights, uh, how to form it, advanced tips of forming different levels of jewelry, and many other videos. And I want to focus now here on the painting, but just to, for you to know if you decide to go with the same color as I do, uh, with the same products as I'm using from Juicy Goddess line i'm gonna put the link in the description as well for this product so you can use the same look as i do and you can also learn how i created it step by step with very advanced explanation uh, and detailed explanation and first goal is to just drop a little bit of truzy along the lines that i drew with posca pen for my guidance and just move it around but fingers are not the best to move juicy around i prefer to use bamboo sticks with sharp edges to form uh, the juicy and to make like work on the flow of the juicy here and the goal is to i'm showing you that you can add also white color and this is how it's gonna look like um it's nice I like it I was contemplating to use white ambrosia which is my signature flagship color is the main color that I'm using in all of my creations the white color but the goal here was to create um, a painting that is not only close to the natural look but also is showing you um, that you can work with just simple one color and you don't have to have other additions to create some beautiful design and diamond case is also in the offer those flakes that i put in the center just a couple of minutes ago to create the transparent white juicy flat juicy this is the diamond case and it's also i just added it to my store for a limited time to just purchase separately but diamond case is something that i'm adding to all of the juicy as a bonus because diamond case is making your juicy a little bit more sparkly because it's premium glass flakes which are reflecting uh, which are showing the light reflection and it's like natural glitter and it's about here is about forming the beautiful flow between each and every element right the flow is the main goal here um, and to merge it to create one combined look without uh, having each and every addition on top of the panel looking that it's just it shouldn't be even there right so the flow is your focus here take your time um, just you have if you use resin which is curing 12 hours you have easily even two hours to navigate the shape of the juicy and to work on it until it's gonna be too cured and too jelly is actually more than when you pour the resin on top of the surface you have much more time for that and now we are gonna work on the bottom side i'm in my paintings my goal is to create 
more light look nowadays more uh, I don't want to have a heaviness so I decided to create a little spaces in between the jersey it's not like very huge bulb of um, one color I decided to create spaces in between and I did it actually in two ways I created a few spaces with resin and diamond kiss sprinkles and I've actually created two spaces over there with just resin and how to do it how to make sure that the pure resin is not mixing with uh, the diamond case or with the juicy uh, I'm gonna explain it in the class because there is a way to work on a small surface with very detailed um, juicy formations where you can stack them up a little bit higher and create this very nice diversification where there is not only just one flat line of juicy but there is up a little bit higher juicy lower spaces in between just to have very nice textures just, just to have your eye um, to wander a little bit and to have something interesting to capture um, and it's not just like united one blend color and one blade blend um, surface it's also something that it's not easy to show on the camera or on the photos as you know uh, photos and the camera is making the 3d look more flat but it's something that you can achieve sprinkling a little bit of diamond dust on top of juicy color juicy is always a good idea because it's gonna give you a little bit of texture and reflection as well and just a quick reminder there's 18 colors to choose from so i'm absolutely excited to show you more uh, examples more paintings you can look into other youtube videos on my channel to see maybe a little bit more but on the website you have full range and those colors i'm hand tinting i'm preparing them Tinting, tinting, packing them myself uh, to assure a beautiful color and I'm using exactly the same products and I always I'm very inspired by the crystals and the nature colors so I'm always trying to make those shades as beautiful and going hand in hand with with the looks that we can find in crystals so they're not too fake vivid vibrant and just like unnatural if that makes sense but you can see all of them they always come to light and they transition into beautiful uh, high glossy um, transparent looks once you add the resin and you can see now that I'm adding just a touch of resin somewhere in between and those are the places and it's difficult because um, the juicy, the wet juicy is still um, not hardened so it's very easy to have things stick to your stick <laughs> and it's very easy to um mellow all of the construction because the gravity is still working there and it's resin a lot of resin if you apply too much resin it's gonna soften the construction and it's gonna blend and start to melt it down so that's it's something to look for but here i'm applying diamond case on those little areas and uh, just to create a little bit correspondence in look between the upper part and the lower part as well Idos blush and the diamond case are the two main um, ingredients that I'm using here to create a juice look 
and it's such a natural and soft look that it can go nicely with other colors uh, like recently I'm also working on another painting where I'm using also some grays and some browns like very cool browns and grays as well as grayish lavender and I'm pairing it with the druzy in Hera's Dewdrops which is like grayish lavender bluebell kind of vibe a very soft and muted but I'm just inspiring you here to try different color combinations different blends um, working with different shades right because very often when we see those spheres those towers those uh, more complex slices of geodes we see a little bit of different colors we see a touch of some grays browns even like citrine look uh, so very warm color this solar activations or apollo's amber from the collection is also something that can go beautifully with pinks with violet color uh, with beiges so this is something that i'm gonna look into it in the next weeks as well i'm always um, happy to hear your opinion so leave them in the comment if you have any preferences about the uh, color from the Druzy Goddess line that I should be working on next. Let me know color combinations and uh, the more of the requests I'm having and getting on specific color line I'm always um, Taking it into consideration for creating more projects so you can also see the product in action and you can get inspired and you can see I'm gonna try to use maybe some less uh, obvious color combinations as well um, like sky is the limit with those juicy products so super excited for you to check them out to try them super excited to connect with you if you want to connect with me chat with me see my updates projects that I'm working on promos that will possibly come in in the future always make sure to check Instagram and my stories I'm very active in there um, I'm trying to stay up to date and but you can also like connect with me through my website through my email address you can find all of those details in the description and last touches just moving creating a little bit of flow but there is one more thing that you can do actually here for your design to be more complex and more advanced but this is something that I'm leaving for the class. I'm sorry, guys. I need to leave something for the class as well. And we are almost there. And I decided to make it more like coming together, to make it more like a um, join look. Uh, I decided to add just a touch of Eidos Blush in the upper right side and in the center of this agat slide created from alcohol inks there are a few more elements that i actually work on uh, later on but this is it guys this is almost the final look you can see it again in the full sunlight and what i did only the last thing i top coated it in the part where you have alcohol inks and i removed the tape and i'm super excited to see you in the class I'm hoping that you learn and you get inspired and I'm gonna see you in the other tutorials here on the YouTube channel so take into consideration to subscribing and I'm wishing you an amazing rest of your day.